Preeti Patel is a disgusting waste man. Let me just start it right there. Do you understand? Preeti Patel is a disgusting waste man. I have no respect for this clown. I never have respect for this clown for what she's been doing to so many people of colour. Now there's apparently going to be migrant camps in the UK. Are you dumb or are you actually dumb? That's, that is not running here. Hey guys, it's Murad. Murad, I hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another podcast. If I'm not coming at you with daily and consistent videos every single day of the year, I'm coming at you with podcasts on my podcast hashtag. I'm ever available on Acast, Spotify, Apple. And we have got a lot to talk about today, a jam-packed episode, because we have from Skepta being dragged to this guy called Mr. White Chocolate. I had no idea who he is. I thought this was a reference to Phaedra and Rojas of Atlanta. And we also have these Ofcom complaints and this whole, you know, Brits got talent, diversity dance, and this whole problem that it caused and this kind of harsh reaction. I haven't really spoken about that on my channel. And I feel like we need to get into this. Are you dumb or are you actually dumb migrant camps? What are they trying to do? What she stands for, this particular waste man, and what she does, this waste man, she, she's just, she should be ashamed of who she is as a person and her parents should be ashamed of her more than anybody else and her grandparents and so forth. She even said herself that she would have deported her parents back then for these rules. Are you a dickhead? Clearly you must be some kind of weird, just, I don't know, she just really irritates me because she is somebody who they call a racial gatekeeper when it comes to the Conservative Party, where, you know, just because you have a person of colour or a brown person at the front, you know, gate, anything that may be deemed racist is suddenly there's something that they can't be accountable for because they have these people of colour at the front gate and so forth. And it's so dangerous what she does and she does exactly what she's doing. Preeti Patel voted against equality and human rights. Preeti Patel voted to end financial support for 16, 19 year old trainings and further education. Instead of raising awareness at 37 on his platform, he is using to promote absolute nonsense. Regardless of whether she's thick or not, why is that even a discussion? There's plenty of other thick girls who don't stand for being this thick in life. Like there are plenty of other individuals and people. So why are you running to this person? Do you not see the magnitude and danger of what you're doing to your following and the influence that you have as an individual, as a person? Like I find it to be so confusing and just upsetting. But this is why he's being dragged online. Um, so unprovoked, nobody asked for that. And nobody looks at her like that because she is definitely dead, most definitely. And then we have Mr. White Chocolate. Listen, I had no idea who this guy was. I was at Carnival last year as well, did not see this guy. But we got to get into Mr. White Chocolate, this name. Can I just find his name, please? Because this white chocolate is too much for me. Let me just call him Henry. Okay, so let's get, let's get into Henry. What I do is brand it and turn it into something that can be a profession. There were people before me in a way I've been paving away for black people to come after me. Wow. This video which has gone, wow. I can't even read the rest of this. What do you mean paving the way? So you're really out here doing Bob the Builder and you're, and you're paving away these pavements and you're, and you're building these pavements so people can now walk now on the street that you have created delusion guys absolute delusion this is what we call excitement people just get too excited and they just they end up doing too much i'm glad this person got backlash sometimes back backlash can be good and i genuinely find it irritating that this person went to a country went to st lucia found you know this kind of um something that's a very important part of their culture has adopted it does it benefits from it because he's online and so forth and then is out here saying that he's paved the way for black people when this doesn't even derive from where you're from how delusional can you be? St. Lucia took to Instagram and Twitter to dis disassociate their country from the modern day Christopher Columbus or culture vulture as most described him. However, other islanders have blamed St. Lucia for accepting white chocolate as one. Well. Listen, we're going to call him um, Josh. Let me just call him um, Harry Potter because, yeah. Ofcom. Over 22,000 complaints, you know. And they say that this UK is not racist. This UK, I'm telling you now, this UK is one of the most racist countries in the world. Whether you like it or not, I really don't care. Swallow that damn pill and go to work because I don't understand. We had 24,500 complaints from Ofcom. 24,500 complaints.